Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding sales analysis part one and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called product with three different columns, product ID, name, and unit price. And these are the data types. Product ID is the primary key for this table. And each row of this table indicates the name and price of each product. We are also given a second table called sales with six different columns, seller ID, product ID, buyer ID, sale date, quantity, and price. And these are their data types. This table has no primary key. It can have repeated rows. Product ID is a foreign key to the product table and each row of this table contains some information about one sale. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the best seller by total sales price. If there is a tie, report them all. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So these are different products, their name and their unit price. And this is the sales table and we need to report the best seller, right? And if there is a tie, we report everything. So for example, for seller ID one, right? So seller ID one, a product, uh, and then uh, the price. So this is basically 2000 plus 800, right? So 2800 for seller ID one, for two 800 and for three 2800. Since we need to re report the best seller by total sales price. So here there is a tie, right? Between seller ID one and three, because both of them, the total sales price is 2,800. So we report both of them, right? So one and three should be in the output. So yeah, this is how we do it. Okay. So to do this, what we can do is we can use the sales table and then for each of the seller ID, we can basically group by seller ID and try to calculate the total sales price of that. And then, we can you know keep only those rows where your uh, sale total sales price is equal to the maximum value right so one way of doing it is you know doing the f firstly uh, doing a group by calculating the total sums and then storing it in a common table expression and then using that common table expression we find out the maximum value and then using that we only keep those uh, rows where the maximum value was equal to the total sum sum of the price right but let's use another method here let's use a subquery in this regard right and try to see how we can do this by using a subquery okay so from this table called sales what do we need to do is we group by right we group by seller id and then return the seller id but we need to make sure that you know uh, we only return certain rows and which rows should that be where the uh, sum of the price of sum of the total price should be the maximum value right so whenever we are you know uh, filtering based on aggregate value what do we do use we use having not where so having sum of the price column equal to now if you just go ahead and write max here right so that is not going to work so equal to something right and that something needs to come from a sub query right so what do we need to do is we need to calculate the maximum uh, total price right so what will happen so let's forget about this column right we just need to calculate the maximum one so from this sales table what will we do we will again you know group by seller id right and then return the sum of price column right so we return the sum of price column so wait let me just you know for simplicity sake let me just move it here so yeah so from the sales table group by seller id uh, return the sum of price and then what do we do we order by this sum right so we order by this sum of price and then in a decreasing manner so dsc so let me go ahead and write so desc 
basically what will it do it will return the maximum uh, sum of price so the maximum total price in the uh, like in the starting and then in uh, it will sort this in a decreasing order and then if we limit it by one right so that is going to be the maximum value right so now if we put this in a parenthesis so basically what is going what is happening here right so from the sales table so from this table it is grouping by seller id calculating the uh, right it is grouping by seller id and then only keeping those rows where the sum of the price so sum of the price of each of the groups so 2800 is equal to now come to this uh, sub query here what it will do is take the sales table group by seller id return the sum of the prices so for example up till this right so if you see you just see this right so what it will return so for uh, uh seller id 1 2800 for 2 800 for 3 2800 right now when you order by some price in a decreasing order so what will come 2800 2800 and 800 now when you limit by one so it will only keep the maximum value right so the 2800 now that is the return part right so 2800 so here it will it is saying that on from the sales table when you group by seller id only keep those rows where the sum of the price is equal to the maximum part and that is 2800 and for them return the seller id so here it will be two cases return right so seller id one because it was 2800 for them and for three 2800 right and this is what going the output is going to be let's go ahead and run this to see what it have what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again let me know uh, how we can do this using common table expression that is a more logical way to do it but here i just wanted to you know display how we can do this using a sub query and how we can in, you know uh, filter by using a having clause uh, let me know how what the solution will look like using common table expressions uh, and if there is any better way to do it let me know and i hope this video was useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video